Assalamualaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from Animosh and yes, I'm coming to you all the way from Malaysia. Okay, so today the subject of our review is my latest, not really latest, but a, a purchase that I've made in uh, December last year in a to, in the Tokyo City flea market where I've managed to get this particular Rado Crayons for a, a very, very affordable price. I'm not going to mention to you guys here, but yeah, I've got this one and also this very, very cool Baby G. So yeah, I've done a review for this particular watch. Please go ahead and check the, check it out. Okay, so yeah oh yeah this is my wristwatch shirt by the way this is the baby g uh i can't really remember the the, the modern name yeah but yeah it's it's a very very cool watch whereby i can use the single piece or single pass strap and with and you can always change the color of the strap which is not really a thing that you can do for latest g-shock okay so let's get back to this rado crayons okay so the rado crayons this the model number I just find out just now this is the Rado Crens 110 oh come on 11020 so if you google this out so you will see that this is a watch that was made in 1975 up until 1980s so I don't really know how to check when is the production the actual production date of mine but yeah if you guys know how to check there's this vintage rado watches the serial number and the production date so please go ahead and let me know in the comment section below okay so um let's just let's just talk the watch dimensions first this is uh, the luck to luck from here to here is about 35.5 millimeters so let's just say uh, 36 millimeters including the crown is going to be about 38 millimeters from Sorry, not luck to luck. The width from here to here. Let's just say the diameter. Oh, let's just say the width. 35.5 from here. From here to here, or the luck to luck, is about 39 millimeters. Some website mentioned 30, uh, 40 millimeters, but yeah, let's just say 39. All right, so 30, uh, 36, 35.5, 39, and the thickness of just uh, 12 millimeters. Uh, basically, the most of the the thickness is because we have this very very cool glass um yeah that is i don't know the first thing that struck me that really made me wanted to buy this watch is because that because of that glass so this is a piece of mineral crystal so you can see that, that it is faceted but it is not at the outside it is faceted inside the glass so how cool is that so you can't feel this the surface it is faceted but it is actually inside the glass so you can see that's that's quite a lot of distortion that you can enjoy when you look in when you look at this watch so just i'm just gonna shut up and let you enjoy that glass that looks so damn cool all right so that is really nice okay so one more thing that makes this thing special is if you can see here all right let me just go closer right there is a rado stamp under the glass so it's like it's right there so maybe i can just zoom in a bit zoom in a bit yep you can see that you can see that how cool is that that is a rado logo on the crystal oh man that looks so cool all right so <laughs> obviously you you will notice already that from my my voice that I really really love this watch and um, because yeah because of that faceted um, crystal I've had I've bought a Seiko 5 Actus I think two years back which also has faceted crystal but it is on the outside and I stupidly sold that watch otherwise I've, I've, I've already have two vintage very very cool vintage watch okay so that's the crystal that we've talked about the case we've got about the crystal let's talk about the dial that dial is basically was it's in blue color or a dark blue color and you can see that looks like a gold dust inside there right so it's basically the start the dial have just have started to fl to um to peel off so that is why you can see on top of that rado logo here you can see that there's a flake it's it's being yeah it, it peels off a bit so yeah that is how i know that this watch has the original dial i don't really mind it i think it acts it adds character to the watch itself all right so 
Of course, we have this applied Radu logo here. We have the um, printed uh, Koreans logo down here. And at the bottom, we see this Swiss made writing down there. And the uh, indices is basically all applied. You know what, typical of those era, the 1970s uh, watches. So we have this very, very cool um, rectangular style hands, um, minute hand, uh, second, not uh, second hand, and also the hour hand, and I think that is really, really cool, right? So we have that red color or white disc with red color date window of at the three o'clock, and of course we have this Rado logo. It's actually spinning, not spinning. So if you just check it, check it, and it will move. So <laughs> how cool is that? I just love. This cool touch by Rado. I think even the current uh, Rado has this same feature. So, yeah, I you know what I I'm, I'm just I'm just chuffed to bits, right? So okay, so let's talk about the crown. The crown features the same Rado logo here, and yeah, that is it's still it although it looks small, but it's actually okay. You can hand wind it. Yes, this is a Swiss made movement. I'm not really sure what is the bit rate so based on this uh, second hand movement it looks like it is 21,600 bits per hour if you guys know if you guys know if you guys know anything about the bit with uh, bph of this particular month please do uh, comment down below so of course you can hand wind it you can hack it yay hacking and hand winding guys how cool how cool is that for a 40 years or more a 40 years old watch so i think that is a really really cool thing to have all right so hand winding hand winding and hackable automatic movement it is a 25 dual movement at the back we can see that we have that rado was it rado seahorse logo i can't really i can't remember what that three seahorse means uh, maybe you guys know please go ahead and chime down below and it's mentioned there water seal I'm not really sure the water seal is still <laughs> in good condition because obviously this dial has started to peel off so that means water is already inside this watch so yeah I'm not gonna test the waterproofness of this particular piece but yeah anyway so enough about the watch so the strap that it came with is an original item so you can see that we have a stamp road rado logo here and we have this very very cool uh, this portion here is 20 mil from uh, this here is 40 mil so we have a we have a lot to lot of uh, sorry lot width of 20 millimeters so not 40 20 millimeters so from here is 22 millimeters and it tapers down right to 16 millimeters very very cool for a vintage watch so when we and just take it off so it's just a you know a friction type and we have a whole lot of oops a whole lot of adjustment here so we have one two three four five six micro adjustment very very nice and i don't really want to resize it because i i don't want to damage this this cool bracelet so i'm just gonna be keeping it and using it on other bracelets such as this very very cool um what do you call this uh what do you call this uh come on Medical rivet rivet style bracelet from MAS watches. So I think this looks really really nice when combined with this vintage Rado. Okay, so let's see how it looks on my 6.75 inch wrist. Let's just take this G-Shock off my wrist. Right. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it so. And boom yeah that looks really nice of course real men wear small watches guys real men wear small watches so I just wish Rado would re-release this thing because I think that looks awesome right so the thickness of just 20, 12 millimeters means it sits pretty well on the wrist and because there is no luck or oh, this luck is basically a hooded luck so it stays really really well on my on my wrist wow that looks awesome initially when i bought this watch uh, at the flea market i was like i'm just gonna be i'm just gonna bring this back to malaysia give it a polish 
give it a you know give it a strap change or polish the crystal whatever and then i'm gonna be selling it but now after having it for about one month and or about close to one month i said to myself okay nor you have to keep this you really really have to keep, keep this and you know what i think i don't i made a great choice a bit a great a great decision by keeping it all right so anyway so if you have something similar to this one to this radio cranes please go ahead and let me know what are the features that i might not know about yet about this particular piece and if you uh, know about the movement please go ahead and tell me in the comment section below so if you guys love this uh, video please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and of course don't forget to push the bell notification twice so that you won't miss any of my future video reviews and to rado please go ahead and reissue this one and don't forget to put this faceted glass uh, faceted crystal so that we we all can enjoy this um, vintage style without the vintage issues <laughs> because honestly i'm not really sure how many years is the movement is gonna uh, gonna be surviving so maybe one or two years i'm not sure but yeah judging by this particular piece condition i think this will serve me well for about four to five years right so until next time guys see you <laughs> i'll see you soon bye bye